everyone and hope you're well. So to, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this makeup look that you all loved when I was wearing this jumper in um, my favourites video. So it's a really, one of my favourite looks to do. It's a look that I do every day. It's so easy um, and you all loved it, which made me think, wow, I should do this look more, lot more often. Um, so I have created it for you and I've been wearing it ever since. So I hope you enjoy Karen watching to see um, how I created this look. Subscribe if you're new, click the notification bell, uh, thumbs up if you actually like this video and you'd like to see more tutorials because it would really help me out. Thank you very much. Carry on watching. So, hello everyone. So considering everyone liked my makeup in my favourites video, I thought I'd recreate it for you today. So, and just have a usual chit chat and get ready with me because we always like that. So, for foundation I was wearing Double Wear and I'm in the shade 2W Dawn, which has always been my shade, I guess. Um, and I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand, like that, and spread it on like it's toast, butter on toast, with a Sigma round kabuki brush. I used to have a flat top one, I don't know where it is. So I'm going to just dip that in there and just spread it across my face. I find that using um, a brush, um, I get a more matte finish. I think because the sponge has moisture in it, you kind of get more of a dewier finish. And sometimes I just want complete, uh, you know, complete matte. So let's just try and move the mirror down here so I can see what I'm doing. I'm then going to go in with concealer and I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape, which I'm still like, I've bought two more new tubes of this, but you know when you're like, I can still see some down there. I can't, I just cannot. Look, more's coming out. I refuse to just give this up till it's completely empty, which means I really didn't need to buy the other ones yet, but it was a QVC deal um, where you get the two and I thought, well, I better get it now. You know, now they're just sitting there, so. <laughs> I'm just going to blend this in and then we can have a chat when I do my um, eyes but I don't want to be like taking too long about it. Now sometimes I set with a separate setting powder on my eyes but sometimes I can't be bothered and I just go all over with my Laura Mercier translucent and I just tap some into a lid Take a powder brush and just tap that in. Go over the eyes, forehead. Wherever you need. Then I'm going to go with my bronzer, ambient lighting. And the blush I was using that a lot of people asked you asked me about is um, this is the Milani Baked Blush and this is in Berry Amour. I wear this every winter. Berry Amour. It's just, I mean, look, come on now. It is just, and I always, always get compliments on this blush because look at that. It's just so mm, punchy, isn't it? For brows, I'm just going to fill in with my um, Benefit Precisely My Brow. Because they're still quite tinted, um, I literally just kind of fill in the gaps. Uh, because 
the tint that I get lasts such a long time, it's amazing. This I think is a bit dark, it's shade number four, but it's the shade of my brows right now. So I just wanna fill them in. Okay, for eyes, surprise, surprise, it's gonna be the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I'm just gonna go in with, it was such a basic eye, that when everyone asked me, I was like, oh my gosh, what did I do? I literally did one or two shadows. So I went in with the shade Commando, which is that one there, all over the lid. So I just, this is like the one eyebrow brush, I, uh, one eyeshadow brush I ever use, it's amazing. So I'm gonna take Commando and I'm gonna go, I will start in a crease and just sort of build it. Gosh, so I wanted to mention my yoga class last time. I never got round to it. Like, you know, it's such a, like this yoga class makes me sweat. It's so hard. <laughs> you know, you have to do downward dog, three-legged dog, put your leg up and out and look under. And you know when, you know, you're finding it difficult and the teacher's sort of like, doesn't give you the options. I like it when the teacher says, oh, go down, you can go down on one knee if you want, or blah, 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 but she's pulling out all these like fancy moves. And I was like, oh my God. And I'm like, in, I'm like downward dog, three, no, I'm three-legged dog, looking underneath. I can see, and I'm looking at the mirror and I can see my face in the mirror, like my jowls are hanging, I'm red in the face. And you know, you get a glimpse of yourself and you're like, oh my God, really? What am I doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. I just spread this all over. But I was telling my friend this the other day, I don't know what it is about yoga, but I instantly look better like the next day, like my face. Like, I feel like I've got, I call it sushi face when your face looks really bloated. I don't know what that's to do with sugar, salt, I don't know. But when I do yoga, like my face loses like 20 pounds. Like <laughs> the next day I'm like, oh my God. Uh, it's, <sighs> So that's why I go, but also if I do the really tough yoga, you do a lot of abs, so you're doing a lot of, um, you know, stomach work, which is my, my troublesome area. But it's just, I get so, well, I don't get embarrassed, but it's like, if I can't do, you know, um, it's the side thing that you have to do. I can't remember what that's called. A gait is when you put your leg down. The other one is, oh gosh, I don't know what it's called, where you're kind of leaning back and you've got your legs out straight, one over the top of the other, and one arm up, and you're sort of like twisting like this on your side and your arms up, side plank almost. Oh my God, I can't do that. And I'm like shaking, I'm like <laughs> trying to hold on, and I'm sweating, and then I'm like, look, just go on your knees. And then we're gonna take a flow, and we're gonna do back down, cobra, back into downward dog. I'm like, I can't do any more flows. I'm just getting down into char blades. And sometimes I get into char pose, and I'll even forget that I'm even there. Then we're gonna, you know, then you have to spin your right leg forward and I'm just like, I must have a really heavy, dumpy body because I just literally have to like pull up my leg and go boom to put it down. I can't just switch legs, you know? But yeah, I do find it, you know, difficult. But you know, don't ever be shy about it. If you can't do it, there's a lady next to me and she was struggling and she saw me just, you know, doing what I can do, which yoga, that's what it's about. It's not pushing yourself to be uncomfortable and not being able to do it and then getting frustrated. Just do, and it also depends on like your mood, just do what feels right for you that day, okay? You could, if you're in a not great mood, you're not gonna be wanting to push yourself. So, you know, don't be embarrassed. You've always got the one who's got to be super bendy and, oh, look at me, I can put my leg all the way round. And you're like, okay. And then you've got the yoga teacher who's also like just absolutely gorgeous. She's just cat, cat bend pose and I'm doing, let me show you my move where I can do this and you think, oh great, I mean, I can't even like, you know, I can't even like bend my shoulder backwards. It's like, but don't, don't be defeated. Carry on doing it because if, it, if you enjoy it, you know, you'll have days where you feel like crying, you know, <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> but I never worry about the people around me. Never, ever worry. If they, if the person next to you is really amazing, great. So what, you know? And the other thing was, I'm, okay, now I'm going to go over my eyeshadow with Blow, which is this one, the white one. Um, you've got mirrors, and so we were doing, like, um, the warrior pose, and she was like, oh, oh, time to check yourself in the mirror. Oh, it's so funny how we all check ourselves in the mirror. And I was like, well, I actually, 
I'm not checking to see whether my hair's all right in the mirror. I'm actually checking whether I'm doing the pose right. And now I feel like I can't look at myself in the mirror because you're going to think I'm checking myself out. And I'm not. I'm just trying to see whether I'm actually got my pelvis tucked in, whether my arms are in the right place. You know, like... So I just put this literally just over the top. That's the blow shade. Blow! Yeah, so, you know, sometimes you just leave yoga and you're like, right, that was just dire, you know. And sometimes you don't go and sometimes you do and it's like, don't beat yourself up about it. Just start again tomorrow, start as you mean to go on kind of thing. That's my motto, you know, don't beat yourself up about not doing something today. Okay, just do it tomorrow. <laughs> So my, my motto. Um, okay, then I'm going to go in with Lethal, which is this really dark purple shade. I love this. And I'm just going to do a really soft line uh, with that. And again, I'm using this one brush. It is the best brush of my life. It's the Bobbi Brown brush. Um, and I'm literally just going to, let's see if I can get in close, just press that along the lash line. Can you see? So you get a really nice, soft line. Obviously, if you don't blink too much. You can then spread it out a bit if you want. I like to just bring it right... Okay, I dusted up there. I like to just bring it just all the way in. Once I've put the majority of it, like I've packed most of it on the edge there, then I will just pull whatever's what is left on the brush onto the inners god who's got like tickly eye eye inner eyes my god and you see it just gives a really subtle definition look at that isn't that i really love that it's so subtle i'm going to go under the under eye bits there and i'm going to take the same shade commando that i used all over the lid it's amazing this shade it looks like it's just so light that it's not going to do anything but it um it's so subtle but effective So I've just done my mascara, curled my lashes, done my mascara and put this in my inner rim. I mean, we've all seen that. It's going to take me 100 years to get this video done otherwise. And I'm going to go with the lips. So I started off with MAC Soft Lip Cream in the shade London, which, you know, I always do. I just love this. It just keeps everything on. I don't know. Then I'm going to go in with the lip liner by Estee Lauder, which is called a Fig, which you know, if you know, is amazing. Then I'm going to go over the top with MAC lipstick in myth which is a super smashing great nude i don't think i mentioned this in my um top five lipsticks but this is very nude you need you need a color like this underneath and i just kind of put it in the center like that So you get that kind of like ombre lip. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. I love it, you loved it. Well, what can I say? <laughs> so that is it. That is um, pretty much my everyday makeup look. It's the makeup look you all liked in my Instagram picture. Just go and have a look. I'm in my gray jumper up to here. Um, maybe I'll wear the jumper again at the beginning of the video. Maybe if it makes any sense, I don't know, whatever. But this is the finished look. It's really windy outside. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.